guys, Katie B here. Today is the official start of football season, so this video is going to be nothing but football, and I wanted to get really nerdy with it, so I hope you guys like my glasses. All right, football fans, here are my top three picks for this season. Raiders, baby, number one, going to the Super Bowl, woo! What? And that is your typical Raider fan, guys. Optimistic for no reason, because the Raiders have a black hole that they are digging themselves out of from the past 10 years of poor decision making. No pun intended to all of you Raider fans. But $50 million in dead money and poor ownership from Mark Davis. So I'm sorry guys, you're bottom one. But I will tell you in my opinion who will be top three and they happen to be in the same division, the Denver Broncos. So I know people are kind of skeptical about this because the Broncos are gonna be um, hurting a little bit on defense without Von Miller in the first six games, but we do have a very good offense on our hands thanks to Peyton Manning and with our rookie, Monte Bell. Um, there's been a lot showing out from him and they have great chemistry. Offense is looking really strong and a lot of teams can't really stack up to that this year, so I think they will be a top three contender. Maurice Jones-Drew, 12 wins, cash money, bet it. All right, guys. I'm sorry, but with a quarterback like Blaine Gabbert, there is absolutely no way that this team is making the top three. Actually, they are in my bottom three for this year. And it sucks because Maurice Jones-Drew is actually returning from his injury and he doesn't really got much to go off of this year because Gabbert threw, what, 26, 27 interceptions last year. I mean, that's, we, what, we got a high school player out here? I'm sorry, guys, but there's no hope. But I will tell you another team in my top three, and that is the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> All right, so to state the complete obvious, their offense is looking absolutely amazing with Colin Kaepernick showing out really late last season, and, you know, we're expecting him to do the same. He's been looking good during preseason. And also, they acquired Anquan Bolden from the Ravens. He's going to be a great addition to them, especially since Crabtree's out. People think that might hurt them a little bit, but we also got Vernon Davis to jump in when needed. And let's not forget Frank the Tank. We got some great guys out here, not to mention a great coach and a great franchise. So I would be really surprised if the Niners didn't make the Super Bowl this year. San Francisco 49ers, definitely on my top three. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets. <laughs> All right, so normally the Jets are a team to watch out for, but this year I'm gonna have to disagree with our fangirl over here. Um, Rex Ryan, the coach, is kind of barely holding on to his job. We don't even know if we're gonna see him through week 17. Best case scenario, he gets to rebuild his image a little bit and uh, stays with the team. Worst case scenario, he loses his job or gets fired before the season's even over, and then where are we left at? Not to mention our quarterback situation, guys. We got Mark Sanchez and Geno Smith fighting for the starting position, which now has been confirmed it will be Smith. I don't know, Sanchez, maybe you should keep dancing in your undies. But bottom line, guys, they are not making it to the top three. But I will tell you the next team who will make it to the top three, and that is the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> so the Seattle Seahawks have an awesome offense coming together. Russell Wilson coming off his first year showing out. Um, we kind of expect the same thing again. Uh, Marshawn Lynch, of course, he ran 1,500 yards last year with 11 touchdowns, so we're expecting the same type of chemistry with those two. And not to mention the rookie, Christine Michael. He's looking really good, so there's a good balance between him and Lynch um, coming out. And on top of that, their defense is looking really scary, which worries me. I will stay true to my Bay teams, and they're in the same division as my Niners, and that kind of scares me a little bit. Seahawks are even rated number one on ESPN right now, so they are definitely one of my top three contenders for this season's Super Bowl. And you know I can't talk football without talking about my Steelers, and even though they aren't ranked that well this year, and I don't really know what to expect from them, you gotta love Big Ben. He's a great quarterback as well. Troy Polamalu is looking better than I've ever seen him the past couple seasons. He's recovered really well from his injuries. So watch out for my Steelers. I have high hopes for them as well. Out of the three teams that I picked for my top three this season, who do you think is going to be the actual Super Bowl contender? And who do you think is gonna be the bust? You know there's always one of them. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Agree or disagree with me, I don't really care. Just leave me some comments. Like this video if you want to see more, and make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you here next week.